अरे इंग्लैंड अनएक्सपेक्टेड नॉकआउट फ्रॉम द क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप अब भगवदगीता परस्पेक्टिव बिफोर द वर्ल्ड कप स्टार्टेड इंग्लैंड वॉज वन ऑफ द टॉप फेवरेट वॉज द डिफेंडिंग चैंपियन एंड नाउ इंग्लैंड हैज बीन कंसिस्टेंट ओनली इन टू थिंग्स इन देर इनबिलिटी टू परफॉर्म एंड देर इनबिलिटी टू एक्सप्लेन वाई दे आर अनेबल टू परफॉर्म इवन commentators are bewildered various explanations have been offered and considered inadequate their players are aging but then so are australia's players they didn't have enough one day experience before the world cup but neither neither did africa and they may be maybe were over confident reckless but that kind of aggression was the very style that enabled them to dominate and defeat opponents for several years so we may wonder what can bhagavad gita perspective offer on a event like cricket actually the bhagavad gita helps us to make sense of life and cricket or sports in general is a microcosm of life the bhagavad gita states that when we are not able to explain things in terms of immediate causes when actions that are expected to produce results don't produce those results then we need to look at the bigger picture the gita explains that it is not only present actions that lead to present results there is also destiny plus present actions that lead to results in sports like in life performance matters but performance is not all that matters a batsman might be playing very well but maybe when the batsman is on non strikers end the bat the other striking batsman hits and this batsman is caught outside the crease and run out or something like that what we call as bad luck that's beyond the performance capacity of the batsman so essentially the gita explains that ma karma phal hetur bhur in 247 do not think that you alone are the cause of the results of your work if you look at the previous world cup final it was an accidental good fortune that enabled england to win it was a fielder hitting the bat of the running batsman the ball accidentally going to the boundary so sometimes results come in spite of our efforts and sometimes results don't come in spite of our efforts so at such times if we see the bigger picture the gita tells us stay equipoised do not become too elated when there is success and do not become too dejected when there is distress or failure arjuna in fact faced a similar situation after the kurukshetra war later when krishna departed from the world arjuna was the same person with the same bow and similar situation when he was fighting his arrows just fell short inexplicably similarly we could say it's the same in english cricket team the same event and the similar playing style but they are falling short of course a cricket match and a dharma yuddha are not comparable but in principle here the point is there is no logical easily explainable factor for addressing the situation so arjuna understood that all ability ultimately comes from god paurusham rishu and when that ability is given to human beings they can dazzle with astonishing performance and when that ability is withdrawn then even the best of players can go out of form even when they don't want to go out of form so arjuna was able to take shelter of krishna and krishna's wisdom and thereby by found find solace even in the presence of distress so we can pray that the english cricket team and anybody who goes through such situations when they face unexpected and inexplicable setbacks or failures that they too can find shelter in the wisdom of the bhagavad gita and be able to be steadfast in happiness and distress success and failure thank you